and welcome. We got ourselves a first review. I haven't done a review in a while. I know it's kind of ridiculous, ridiculous. Um, stress, 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 depression, depression, depression. Let's get on with it. It I saw this weekend. If you have not seen it, check it out. Um, a lot of people who would love the original. Yeah, this was actually really good. Uh, a lot of people were saying that he will never replace uh, uh, Tim Curry's. Tim Curry is definitely. Uh, did an amazing job. His performance is amazing. His performance is totally different. It definitely does uh, does an amazing, amazing job. If you go into the movie expecting to be scary, a lot of people said it wasn't too scary. Some people said it was scary. Uh, it's up to you. It depends on you. Some people get scared easily. Uh, case in point, remember in this trailer when he's when Bill walks down to the kitchen because he sees the muddy footprints and he sees his brother move across, run across the screen? Tell me why people in the theater jumped and screamed at that scene. At least in my theater. I'm like, Dude, that was in the trailer. You should have known that was coming. Why did you jump and scream? I can understand if it was something that they weren't expecting, but come on, that was expected. Um, you know, that that kind of thing is kind of like beyond me. But let's get, what, let's get with the cast. The Losers Club. The kids did an amazing job. They meshed very well. They were they they were really they were really amazing for a bunch of kids uh, doing this horror movie. They definitely held their own and they definitely did a great performance. Uh, Finn, Finn Wolf Hardy might remember him from Stranger Things. He did a really good job as Richard Tozer. Not that many of uh, the different voices like uh, Seth Green did in the uh, original one, but again, still, both definitely did an amazing job. Seth Green respectively for the original, and you got Finn uh, Wolf Howard for this one. And then you got all the other cast members, especially the actress who played Beverly. Uh, they changed her character up a little bit more. In the original one, since it was done in the 50s, she had to be more proper and more, you know, very straightforward. In the newer one, she was a little bit more edgier, like the 80s girls, you know, she was smoking and all that. I was like, it was kind of, t- it kind of took me back a little bit. I was like, wait a minute, that's not the Beverly that I was like, wait, it's based in the 80s, so it's totally different, um, which I totally get. It was definitely pretty cool. The only problem was that you could tell that she was wearing a wig when she had, uh, when she, was, she had her hair in a ponytail. I was like, that's bad. Really bad. I mean, I, I was like, I was like, that's not cool. That's just me. Um, as far as the other characters, they did a really good job. Now, yeah, they didn't go into a lot of backstory for a lot of the characters. Um, the runtime was 2 hours and 15, almost 20 minutes, I believe. Could they have gone three hours and given them more backstory for each of the characters? They definitely could have. They definitely could have. Um, I would have enjoyed it. I would have definitely sat there and, like, let me sit there. Hopefully, fingers crossed, they do have an extended version with a little bit more, you know, stuff in the movie. I doubt it, but I, I'm hoping that they do do that. Now, the uh, Pennywise character played by Bill Skarsgård, he just took that role and he ran with it. He did a phenomenal job. I left the movie theater just amazed and just was like, wow, he did an amazing job. I, the only thing I took away from this movie when I left the movie theater was his performance. Hands down, flat out. That's what really impressed me was his performance. Just the subtleties and uh, the voice that he used was, it was creepy, but it was just, it was his own. It wasn't a Tim Curry one. It wasn't a, it was very well done. Um, the fact that his eyes were not CGI, it was actually his eyes turning to the side was really phenomenal. Um, the only CGI they had for his eyes was, of course, to make it a little bit wider, I guess. But also the color of his eyes, they go from this nice blue color to this orangey kind of color um, right before he kills you. Which actually I thought was a really good little little take on the character where, you know, he's in friendly mode and all of a sudden he's in I'm going to kill you mode. Um, that was actually pretty pretty awesome. The fact that when he talked, I don't know if it was because of the prosthetics of the teeth that he had in his mouth. If that was the reason why uh, he was drooling a lot when he, or spit when he talked. Or if he did that on purpose, made it, you know, look like his character was just salivating, drooling, can't wait to eat these kids because he's all like, you're going to be so tasty, I, ooh, I just can't wait, and he's drooling. I don't know if that was it. If it was that, that was a perfect little addition to the character to show his eagerness, you know, him can't control that. He's actually really can't wait to get into them and just bah, bite them. Um, the creatures that he uh, manifested as to scare these kids was really cool. Uh, we do get to see the mummy uh, creature. Um, but I'm not gonna tell you when and where, but you do get to see it. You have to really, it's really quick, uh, but it's really cool. Really, really cool. And also, they do give a nod to the original Pennywise in the scene, um, with Richie Tozer. You really have to pay attention when he comes up against this figure. You have to really, really pay attention, uh, to the scene. It's in the trailers, but you gotta really, really pay attention on, on where he's at. His face is there. It's there. Check it out. It's, I thought that was like one of the greatest moments ever. As soon as I pointed out right away, I was like, that's him. It's Pennywise. The original Tim Curry version. And I was like, phenomenal. Uh, but other than that, I mean, 
as far as the movie goes, it's definitely a lot more gory than the original. That rated R um, rating gave them a lot more leeway to do <coughs> to do what they wanted to do and get what they wanted to get done. That bathroom scene I told you was going to be bloody. More bloody than there was in the original scene with Beverly. Yeah. It was. It was the perfect, perfect thing. I, it was exactly, it was exactly as, as I expected. It did not disappoint me. And I thought it was really... Sorry, excuse me. I thought it was really well done. Uh, another, the scene with Georgie and Pennywise, the way they were interacting, was really cool. Uh, just the way he interacted with all these characters. And I didn't read the book yet. I got to read the book because there's a lot of stuff that they, you know, they changed, you know, and t- took out. But I definitely got to read it. Um, as Bill Skarsgård six 6'5", and, you know, so that's pretty tall. Especially, he's probably, he's definitely towering over these kids. And there's probably some scenes where they made him look a little bit bigger because they're like, dude, he looks a lot bigger. Um, it was pretty cool. That scene at the end, the trailer with the, uh, the slideshow. After that whole thing, with the, when they went to that whole sequence, like, up, leading up to that, and then a little bit after that, it was phenomenal. I, I enjoyed it. Um, even though Pennywise wasn't in a lot, Bill Skarsgård made his presence felt in the movie. He made his character felt, and you're sitting there like, dude, that was cool. Even though he wasn't even in the movie that much, you went away going, damn, he did an amazing job. He was pretty awesome, which was really good. That's a really good actor. Any actor who could be in the movie for a little bit amount of time and be have people talking about that character, even though they weren't in it that much, you know that's an amazing actor. Um, the costume for him was really well done. Of course, CGI, with a budget of $35 million, you know, CGI isn't going to be that great. But what really kills it, opening weekend, U.S. box office only $117 million. Damn. With overseas, and up to $192 million, I think it was. It was $192, no, $172 million worldwide. Opening weekend, they dominated. They made more than enough to, to cover the movie. Um, I think it was definitely a movie that you got to check out. If you have not seen it, check it out. If you've seen the original one, you'll love this one. You're not going to be scared. I, I guarantee you, you're not going to be scared. Unless you're easily scared, then you're going to be scared. If you have a fear of clowns, you'll be terrified. Um, but other than that, you're really not going to be scared at all. Uh, after people who, especially you people who watch horror films a lot, it's, you're desensitized. You're not jump scared. It's not going to scare you. There's nothing new on, on, on this movie that, that would scare you. No new techniques of new scares and stuff like that. Nothing. Uh, it's all straightforward, easy, you know, to read noticeable moments when the scares are going to come. But for any of you guys out there who have not seen, who don't really watch horror movies that much, but watch them once in a while, they'll probably get you a little scared, probably get you a little bit. Again, I think it's a really enjoyable movie. Definitely, I didn't think it was that scary, but it was definitely a solid, solid horror movie and a solid, solid remake. Um, Will I buy it when it comes out? Hands down, yes. Will I see it again? Definitely yes. I definitely want to go see it again. Um, I thought it was that enjoyable. Very well done. Can't wait to see what part two looks like. We won't see that until 2019. January is when they hopefully get a good script done and they want to start shooting February, I mean, March of next year. So, keep your fingers crossed that it turns out to be just good. Hopefully they add more as well. But, uh, leave in the comments below if you've seen the movie and if you enjoyed it or not. And if you like that Pennywise or if you like the original Pennywise, and give me reasons why. Alright guys, you guys take care and, uh, see you guys around. Alright guys, bye.